And now you see the text is inside our curve because we just pasted it. It's free now. Watch what happens when I move my text back up. It's on its own layer by itself, and that's what we just did. So immediately, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to right click on my text because I'm not going to, I can, you know, at this point, you really can't make too many changes to that. You could know, change your coloring and your stroke properties. But that's about it. You're not going to be able to make new text. See how we do that? You go to right click on that layer. You go to properties. And you simply just change it out. Once you have your text the way you want it to be, now we want to add text below the curve. So what we're going to do is we need to make some changes to this shape. So I need to click on this shape tool, the sh actual shape layer, I'm sorry, and then go over to our toolbar and choose the pen. <clears throat> Sometimes when people go to do this, if they're not set up properly, they're going to end up seeing nodes on all their text which currently we do not because I went in and I did choose this as my active layer. So now we're ready to go ahead and add the text to the bottom. To do that, we're going to need to make that change to the oval, like I said. So go to the bottom node, right-click, and choose Convert to Path. You will now see that you have nodes that are hollow. Again, at the bottom one, bottom node, right click again, holding down your mouse button, and then choose. Oops, something happened here. Oh, edit reverse contour. Okay, but it just didn't catch yet. That's what happened. Whew. So again, what you did was you right-clicked right on that. You went to Edit Reverse Contour. Now I can go in, choose the text tool, put my mouse over that node, wait for that text on a curve icon, and click down. And we can change our text here text on the bottom curve. It's a little, so we're going to change this bottom curve. And I'm going to hit apply. At this point, I could leave my text within this oval, or I can bring it down lower, which I could easily go into the offset and type in minus 20. and notice nothing happens. That is because we cannot make any changes to our text outside of the text box. So what you will do is you will go into this bottom curve layer, double click it, and it will bring up your text box again. Now again, type in minus 20 and see what happens. And there you go. Minus 27, that should pretty much do it. Okay, good. So now I'm going to hit Apply. Again, I'm going to right-click on that text, Convert Text to Curves as a single shape. And then I'm going to go up to Edit, Cut, Edit, Paste as a new layer. And then I will move my text down into place. Now you can see you have a vector layer. You actually have one, two, three vector layers. One of them is your shape, and the other two is your text.
the two texts uh, right now to be if you're not going to really if you want to make changes to your color you could choose the drop down the plus to drop down that layer right click on it and again choose properties if you feel that you need to make changes to that text once you feel confident that your text is the way you want to use it right click on that and convert to raster and the only reason why I ask you to do these steps is because sometimes you can choose a tool over in your toolbar and some freaky things could go on with your text if um, especially if you use the pen tool and your tool settings are set to a certain edit mode but right now I'd like to change my fill color on my shape and I've showed you that before where you right click you go to properties and my fill color um, this time I'd like to use a, a gradient that I've used before so I'm going to go ahead and, and click OK and now I'm going to just add a, a cool effect to my text layers so I'm going to click on the text layers I'm going to go up to effects 3D effects drop shadow and I have preset settings that I prefer to use for the specific area which um, I've set up myself but the offset for the vertical and the horizontal is three my attributes opacity blur and color those attributes for the opacity is 41 the blur is six and the color is black as for adding my shadow on a new layer I do not need that so I'm going to uncheck it and hit OK I currently have a drop shadow now on that string of text I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom curve text I'm going to go up while it's selected I'm going to go to effects 3d effects drop shadow and I'm going to use the same settings I used before so I'm just going to click OK now I'm going to choose my move tool and I want to show you how I can move the text around and it has a drop shadow you see how it has the drop shadow there I could actually show it better that way so there you have it you have your text on a curve which is they're pretty they're free to move around as you feel they need to be moved around and um, I hope this tutorial explains several things to you and um, be sure to check out www.michellespaintshop.com and that is Michelle with one L to see future tutorials on her website or on YouTube.